So, frontalis. That's an elevator, isn't it? It raises your eyebrows. <clears throat> there it is. In uh, sort of like a cadaver-like subject. Okay. Depressor. You've got um, um, the corrugator supercilia and the, the depressor supercilia, which is more medial. Um, it lowers and moves the eyebrows medially. The corrugator supercilia. The depressor, another depressor is the procerus, the muscle, flat muscle in between your eyebrows. It draws the medial aspect of the eyebrow down, creates horizontal lines. So they're the ones that, just sort of, when you scrunch your nose, you can see them. Abicularis oculi, medial brow depressor and a lateral brow depressor produces the crow's feet that we're all quite familiar with. Okay. And again, on a, a muscular subject. Facial artery, yeah, important to know where they are. You need to be able to, you know, if you're going to give Botox anywhere near the orbicularis oculi, you need to know where the facial vein is roughly. You know, if there's a little bleed, you'd think it's, oh, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a small vein off the main branch. There's angular artery there and facial artery. But again, it's all about revision. Revise your anatomy again. That'd be quite nice. Okay, facial nerves, there they are. So that's quite close, isn't it, to where your crow's feet injections are going to be. Okay, treatments, can you all see that? Okay, that's good. So where, where are they? Uh, you know, we've talked about frown lines, forehead lines, gummy smiles, yeah, they're more advanced treatments, gummy smiles, you know, you've got a raised lip profile.